Do you want to make sure your home goes to a local family when you go to sell it? We're going to be answering all these questions and talking about this amazing program uh, that will do just that. And here I have, I've brought on my friend Parker so we can take a deep dive. Omar, what a great way to start the, the webinar. I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm like, I'm the <laughs> one who's actually answering those questions and I'm still incredibly excited. So yeah, let's go. Let's get in. Sell your home, guaranteed, presented by. During this webinar, what can you expect? We're going to be talking about the problems we kind of just brought up and how these, these solutions that we can help with them. So the, the solution is very simple. It's the Home Start Cash Advantage program. And following this presentation, we're gonna do a quick Q&A. Hey, Amar, I'm sorry, give, give me one second. I'm glad yeah. I'm doing this. I gotta tell my four-year-old to not be singing. One sec. Problems for home sellers right now. Prepping. When you are putting your house on the market, the prep work you have to put into it, I know you don't even feel like doing it because it's just an extra chore now you have to do to kind of get your home ready, but it has to be done. This program solves that. Who hates having to be called an hour or two before a buyer and their client comes and it kind of disrupts your entire day? And then you're always going back and forth trying to have to walk your dog at a moment's notice to kill some time. Yeah. I think it was the worst being married with kids trying to sell a home um because you're exactly right like you get a text from your realtor and it's like hey can you be out in 30 minutes and you're oh. like you know you're just like cramming stuff into closets it almost looks like a hostage situation where you're like you know you've got bags over kids heads and throwing in the minivan we gotta go right it's stressful and it sucks so i'm glad you brought that up because that's something that sellers i think oftentimes don't even realize sucks as much as it sucks until they realize that it sucks <laughs> Right now, homes are staying longer, so that means you're going to have to kind of keep up that kind of sequence for more than a few weeks, not just a weekend, because it's staying point. longer. Buyers backing out, that's terrible, but it happens, you know? They love it. You're so close to, the, to, to you know, completing the transaction, but there's a hiccup. Somewhere along the line, there's a hiccup. It's no one's fault. Sometimes things just don't work out, but this program is a solution to all that. And last but not least, family job we, we live busy lives is what i'm trying to say and to add the process of trying to sell your home is enough to make anybody kind of go a little cuckoo because it is there's so much to it than just putting it on the mls basically you just want the easiest simplest solution to selling your home plain and simple this program will do just that and we're gonna get right into it all right so let's talk about step by step what does a ribbon even mean we know what a ribbon is but what is a ribbon when it comes to actually buying or selling a home so let's let's talk about i think as if you're trying to sell your home understanding the steps that the buyer is going through super super important for you to understand so that you can realize just how sure of a thing this is all right so step number one which is actually not the step number one on this screen but really the first thing is you as the seller are going to receive an all cash offer all right you're going to see proof of funds that's actual cash you're going to receive an offer that's got no financing contingency it's got no appraisal contingency the only thing it's going to have is it's going to have a seven day inspection period now once that seven day and that's that step one that you see on the map once that seven day inspection period excuse me i'm sorry that's the step two that you see on the map but once that offer is accepted and then that inspection period is done it is a guaranteed sale. Now, the buyer, meanwhile, their goal is they actually want to get their financing in place so that they can show up come closing day and buy this home from you with their own financing. But at the end of the day, if they decide to go crazy and like, you know, run away to Brazil and buy a million jet skis and all of a sudden they can't actually get a loan to buy this house from you, the seller, not a big deal. Ribbon is going to step in. They're going to buy that house with cash, which means you, the seller, you're going to get your money. Or if you're a listing agent, you're going to get your money. If you're the buyer's agent, you're going to get your money. The only person that's not going to get the money is going to be me, the lender. I'm going to be stuck with the buyers in Brazil with the jet skis. Um, 
So all that being said is even if something catastrophic and terrible happened to the buyer and the whole financing completely fell apart, you are still going to have your house sold. And so I know that cash offers in terms of like your true traditional cash offers, they you're like, well, you know, those are the best. I would honestly argue that this might even be better than your traditional cash offer, because if you have a cash buyer, they still might actually back out the day before closing. So as a seller, you're like, if I can just get through the seven day inspection period and the buyer still wants the house, well, it's a guaranteed sale. I know that I'm gonna be able to sell my home. Now let's say that the buyer either A, doesn't have their financing ready or B, some buyers, they don't want to have the pressure of getting a loan before buying the house. They want Ribbon to buy it from the seller first. Not a big deal if you're the buyer. All you have to do is have Ribbon buy it with cash in as quickly as 14 days. You can then move into your new house. You'll actually pay rent to Ribbon and you have, oh, and this is a big announcement, Omar, you now have up to a year it used to be six Whoa. months. You now have up to a year to buy the house back from Ribbon. So it's almost kind of like a lease to own, which really don't exist hardly anymore in this crazy market. So the buyer advantage, competitive cash offer, you're able to get into the house that you want to get into, whether it's you buying it with a loan first or you buying it back from Ribbon. As the seller, you're all about it because you know you get past the inspection period. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a done deal. So this is step-by-step step how we get to the finish line, which the finish line is everybody happy. The buyer gets the home, the seller gets their, gets their money. Now, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions because again, this is a brief overview of everything, but at the end of the presentation, we're gonna have our contact info so you can reach out. That way we could break it down even further because this, this program is worth a listen and really seeing if it's a viable option for you. Okay, so what Ribbon brings to the table? No more home prepping. That's huge in and of itself. Home showings, Ribbon will, will buy your next home. That way you can move out of your current home. That way we, the realtor, me, has an empty home to work with so we can stage it. We can either, we could do all the little fixer uppers so you're not in there while it's happening. That's the beauty of it. And you'll get top dollar, right, Omar? If you're the listing agent and you wanna get a house ready to get absolute top dollar, working from a blank canvas is always preferable, right? Oh yeah. And from a just logistic standpoint of scheduling, there's not so much back and forth. It's just, it's, oh, it's an open house, go when you need to go. And that way there's, you, there's, you don't even have to deal with the whole scheduling aspect of it, which is another huge uh, bonus because you're not messing with your time and time's a very valuable asset. If a buyer backs up for whatever reason, this uh, ribbon will buy this house from you. So that's why it's guaranteed. I haven't taken a good look at this, but I just from what Parker has told me and from just like the little snapshots I've seen, the web portal for all this is so simple. So simple, very user friendly. We'll probably do like another follow up kind of uh, overview of how that would look like because I would really like for you guys. Yeah, to dummy that. account. We'll get a dummy account put up. That'll be fun. That'll be great. Yeah, we'll do like a little backstage pass so you guys can see how it works because again, this program, I mean, you have to hear it a few times before it really sinks in because it's a little bit like, how does that work? It sounds a little too good to be true, but it's not. Parker has done this program a dozen times, am I right? Gosh, probably 25, 30 times over the last year and a half, two years. I mean, here's the other great thing, and we've done we've done uh, the, the veteran VA version of this in the past, Omar, but I'm actually doing a ribbon deal right now in the Atlanta area, and it's a, it's a veteran who I connected with almost a year ago and uh, having a really hard time getting his VA offer accepted, did ribbon. And here's the best part about that is if you're VA, uh, you're not allowed to pay the ribbon fee. And yes, of course, there's a ribbon fee. Um, it's not nearly as bad as you would think. If you want to know what that fee is, watch some other webinars. But the bottom line is, is this is an individual who was trying to get into a home for a year decided to go ahead and put that ribbon cash offer on top of his VA loan. He's under contract. He's going to close September 30th. And you better believe it's not going to be ribbon buying the home. It's going to be him coming to the closing table with his home star loan. And the seller's not going to care because at the end of the day, whether it's ribbons cash or a home star loan, they're going to get their money. Wow. So it really was that pivotal point during the deal, huh? Oh yeah. No, it was, it was, I think he did almost eight months worth of offers with just his VA loan, nothing. And then he did two offers with, with Ribbon. And especially in a market that's cooling off, 
he won his second offer after switching over to ribbon. And again, he's still using his VA loan. It's, it's a pretty incredible program. That's powerful. That's powerful. One thing about this program is brand new. I know when we hear something brand new, we're kind of a little resistant to it right off the bat because we don't understand it. It's a little unknown. And again, we do not want to be taken advantage of, but that's why Parker and I are doing these webinars so we can educate and kind of break this down step by step. So you understand exactly what this is about. That way, when you call us, you'd be like, okay, I want to know a little bit more. We want to help everybody either sell their home with this program or buy a home with this program because it helps both parties. Buy it backs out, no problem for Ribbon because they will buy it anyways. Take it away for the competitive advantage. Here's the big deal. You're going to be able to purchase your next home before you have to sell and all the hassle that goes into that. You're going to be able to uh, either accept if you're the seller or offer if you're the buyer an offer that's got no contingencies. Now, here's how that works. There's obviously no financing contingency because though the borrower can get a loan, they don't have to get a loan. It's like loan optional because if they don't get a loan, Ribbon's going to buy it with cash. So that's how you get rid of that financing contingency. Now, you get rid of the appraisal contingency because that's that little dashboard widget that you were talking about, Omar. Before you make a Ribbon offer, you're actually putting in the property address into Ribbon's platform and they give you a home valuation. Usually that valuation is going to be about five to 10 K over list price. So you're doing a really competitive offer, but in the event that that appraisal comes in below your offer point, doesn't matter. Ribbon is going to step in and actually cover that gap and they'll fill that appraisal gap. So that's how they're able to lift that appraisal contingency. So no financing contingency, no appraisal contingency. And then the other big thing is, and I love this point open door. Why do people love it? Because it's so easy. Why do people hate it? Because they get lowballed. Open door is notorious for coming in and offering you like nothing, but people take it because it's truly a cash deal and they can get money in their pocket really quickly. Ribbon does the exact same thing, only you're going to get at list, if not above. And then I want to continue to say this over and over again, when it comes to moving into your next home with a cash offer, nothing makes you a more competitive buyer, regardless of the loan that you're going to want to use to buy that home. Nothing makes you more competitive than having that cash jacket on top of whatever financing you're pursuing. If you've ever used Open Door or any of those big technology kind of like brokers, please tell me your story in the comments because I would love to hear because I hear more bad than good, right? And good, yeah. luck, good luck talking to the same person twice. Because that's, ain't happening. Not, that's, that's not how their business model works with us, with this program at this, this is what you get. What you see is what you get. You're, you're going to have access to us. So we're going to know your story and you're not going to, it's not going to feel like so out of touch if you're working with these big companies, because they're more of a high volume, very transactional based kind of business model. So that's another big point I really wanted to drive. Yeah. And, and to piggyback off of that, I mean, my account rep is Brittany. Hey, Brittany, if you're watching. I mean, I've got her cell phone. I can text her if needed. So to have a designated account rep is also huge because that point you made about the big eye buyers like Open Door, Zillow, Redfin, yeah, you're not going to talk to the same person. With Ribbon, we're going to have the the same account rep for every transaction. You well, look like, sneaky, like, Omar. Oh, he looks well, like you're about to, like, I'm, I'm, you're about I'm, to tell I'm, a secret. I'm, there's a rabbit hole that you can go down if you Google a, uh, a subreddit with Open Door, Zillow, and check out any of their iBuyer programs. Just go down that rabbit hole so you can hear story after story of just how kind of awful the whole process was, right? So you can, you know, use that to base your decision off of and then see because yeah. they have one thing they have going for them is they have killer marketing, probably top notch. That's why they're so big because their marketing yeah. is on point. Okay, guys, this is it. So this, this is uh, Parker and I. Here's our information. Uh, for you guys to contact us, but if you don't feel like texting us or emailing us, hey, drop a comment and we'll reach out to you. You know, let's start a dialogue and we do not mind following up because again, at the end of the day, we want to start the conversation. We want to get you uh, just, just kind of get the ball moving because sometimes it takes time for, you know, given your current circumstances. You know what costs money, Omar? Buying a home. You know what doesn't cost money? Calling you or me, you know? Right. We're not going to charge for that conversation. Let's just, let's just talk. There are so many people that you and I interact with every single day who just assume that they can't buy a home. They haven't talked to anybody. They haven't explored it. They're just like, that's not for me. I'm not going to, I would never be able to buy a home. I don't have enough money. I don't, 
And it's just so sad because if you just pick up the phone and you give Omar a call, you pick up the phone, you give me a call. This is my favorite phrase. My dad always said this, and he's been doing loans since like the Jimmy Carter administration. And that is there's never a no when it comes to buying a home. It's either yes or it's not right now. Um, and so if it's a not right now, Omar, I'm telling you, he will be able to get you on a path to where you can start um, looking for houses that you like and don't like and start to develop your preferences. Meanwhile, I'll start working with you on whatever I need to work with you on. If we need more cash, great. Let's get a savings plan together. If we need to prepare our credit, awesome. I've got some amazing tools and some connections to get that, that credit under control. The point being, if you're watching this and you don't think that home ownership is in the cards for you, you'd really, really be surprised at just how many people think that and are wrong. So pick up your phone, call me and Omar. Hey, I think that is a great way to end it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, we put on these webinars like every, like once once or twice a month. So if you missed it this time, we'll hopefully catch the next one. So until then, peace. Awesome. Thanks, Omar.